Many of you have asked me how they can get their team to actually use ClickUp. They've been struggling getting the team on board, getting the team to use it and really make it an integral part in their business. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEV.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. So if you're ready to streamline your business to skyrocket your sales, then you are in the perfect channel right here because I'm helping you automate your business to dominate your industry. So if you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video, share your template with you or show you how you really can integrate ClickUp in your business. Yes, that can be quite a painful process. I will admit that because it means changing a habit and not just changing a habit of yours, but changing a habit of your whole team. But you can make it easier and it is your responsibility to do so. Don't just expect your team to run along. So what can you do to get your team on board and really make ClickUp work for you and your company? One of the most important pieces and the first thing you should do is team training. Even if it's just the beginner 101 training, they need to know things on how they can make ClickUp work for them because there are so many different ways of setting it up. The first thing they should know is how to clean up their notifications because if they get too many notifications, they're just gonna turn it off and they're not gonna see what's important. There's a video on that. Make sure to watch that. Send it over to your team so that they can clean up their notifications and that overwhelm is gone and they really can pay attention to the notifications and get notified if they need to do something. Second thing, make use of the Memote. Show your team the Memote and how it works. Let me show you because we don't have a video on that yet. It is so simple. Just have them go on the highest level and click me. It is really that simple. Now everything is just the tasks and all the things that are associated with me. Isn't that a nice thing? It's really that simple. Those are the first two steps you really need to do with your team to get them to use ClickUp. And on that, stay till the end for a little pro tip for you. I will show you something. But you're gonna have to stick around till the end. If you watched my video about the marketing space, the agency space that we set up, you've already seen custom lists. And that is where you need to start putting work in. What makes life easier for your team? How are they working with? This specifically came up because the team is used to work in their departments. So easy job, no using some custom fields or whatever, just use a custom list for each department or even build an on fire list where you take one of these lists and you really just sort them by priority. If your team uses the flags, because if they don't use the flags, this is not gonna work. Which gets me into the next point, SOPs, standard operating procedures. If your team doesn't know what they need to do when this is going to be a shitstorm, meaning if something is urgent, what happens if a new task comes in and it doesn't have an assignee? Where is the communication happening? Little pro tip, by the way, task communication in the task, general communication, we still prefer in Slack because we can do that on mobile. If the project is not on mobile and we are all on desktop, we also build dashboards that have that chat feature in for general conversation. But I digress. SOPs, you need to have your standard operating procedures procedures down so people know what the hell to actually do. If you don't tell them, it's everybody is just going to think this is the best way and this is the best way and that is the best way and suddenly tasks are getting handled five different ways and it's becoming a mess again. You are making your team's life easier having standard operating procedures in place. So do the work. Have you considered setting up dashboards for your team? Yeah, we got the custom list, that's fine. We got the memo, that's fine too. But you even can build dashboards for them to make their life easier and really just narrow their focus. And you can do that for team 
as well as clients. Look at this. This is a really, really simple dashboard. We got hours this month. We got hours last month because it's CDA. We want to know the hours due today. Look at this. She's done it all. There is nothing that we need to care about today. We got a little backlog, which she's working on. I already know that. And then we got other things due this week or due this month so you can get the big picture. It can be that simple. There is no thinking about it. Your team can get this dashboard and go in there and be like, oh, cool, nothing due today, but we have three tasks on the backlog. Let's get those tasks done. And then once we're done with that, let's look what else is due this week so I can work ahead and get stuff done. And last but not least, if you watched my podcast template episode, you already know what's coming. If not, I'm going to give you a short rundown and then you can dive into the full video to get the full picture. Simplify your tasks. In this right here, when I built this podcast task workflow, it became really, really overwhelming because there was certain stages that were happening and then every single subtask underneath that stage had a due date and we had like 10,000 different due dates in between and you look at it and it's like, oh my God, what the hell is going on? Where, how, what? It is just overwhelming. Taking intense workflows like that and simplifying them rather than having five different due dates for what pretty much is one subtask and could be checklists. Look at this. We just put them in, it's five subtasks and a checklist underneath. You research, it doesn't matter if the keyword research is done five days after the document was created. All of these tasks can be done in one rundown by your VA. Get it done in a day. They don't need separate due dates. They don't need separate workflows and all of that. You really want to simplify as much as possible while giving your team enough information to get the task done. And now that I'm done with my rent, it really comes down to helping your team simplify their workflow, work more efficient, and giving them the resources to do so. And with that, develop a new habit. And now here's another pro tip for you. Anne-Lee Schick, my business bestie, has a DMO, a daily method of operation video and template that you can use for your team, where you can be like, okay, every morning you are cleaning up your email, you are checking the dashboard for your task, you are assigning due dates for every task that doesn't have any due dates, and then you get working. You help them develop the habit in the morning to start their day in ClickUp. And you'll find that right in the description. If you haven't made it this far and you're still not subscribed, what are you doing? Go hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video.